Chavo Guerrero is a former professional wrestler who these days, amongst other things, serves as a wrestling coordinator in Hollywood. That includes in the exceptional new film, The Iron Claw, which opens in theaters December 22nd. It's all about the Von Erich family, their compelling and tragic story in and out of the ring. On top of serving as that wrestling coordinator, Chavo also plays a small role in the film as the Sheik. Chavo, thank you so much for the time. How are you doing today? Hey, Trey, what's going on, man? Thanks for having me, brother. It is my pleasure. Your role in this movie is not just one who appears on screen as the Sheik, but uh, you had an arguably uh, more important roles behind the scenes as well. How did you initially get involved in this film? You know, I got approached by the director, Sean Durkin, that, uh, you know, he was writing this movie about the Von Eric family, and uh, he was a, a, a fan. He wasn't just some guy, you know, just thought it was a cool story. You know, he was a big fan. He was obsessed with that family, and we had a, uh, a little sit down uh, meeting in Los Angeles, had some coffee and man, he just really threw it out at me how all the stuff that he wanted to do. And after finding out <laughs> what an awesome director he actually is, uh, it was, uh, it was a no brainer. I had to do this. Was your initial responsibility as wrestling director or was he wanting to cast you in one of the roles, which of course ultimately becomes the Sheik? Uh, no, no, no. I, uh, was the wrestling coordinator. That's, that's what he was bringing me on as. And then I got a call, uh, from his, uh, one of his executive producers, his line producer who asked me, Hey, um, you know, Sean really wants to know if it, can you, can you play the Sheik in the, in the, in the film? And I was at first kind of like, okay, not that I didn't want to do it or you don't want to be on, you know, I'm ex pro wrestler where I always want to be on camera, but I always think about it, it takes me away from being behind the camera with the director and watching that choreography being filmed and, and tweaking it, you know? So I was like, okay, uh, there's some little nuances that if we're going to do that, then I have to see some replays and that kind of stuff. But our uh, stunt coordinator, Hiro Koda, actually, you know, he's a second unit director as well. And he's just really just kind of, uh, stepped in and kind of covered for me as I was in the ring. So sometimes I don't like to do that. You know, I was on camera for years in WWE and stuff. I love creating behind the camera and seeing it go from a script, just an idea to seeing all the process that we do to get it on, on, on the big screen, you know, or on the TV. That's really kind of my passion now, you know, and I, I eventually want to direct and follow in Sean's footsteps, but um, you know, that's a little down the road, but you know, for me to be on stage to be in the ring that's that's a no-brainer that's you know that's that's easy that's super easy to me. so i'm assuming that you've taught wrestling in the past i don't know how many times you've had the opportunity to be a wrestling coordinator in a movie but you guys nailed it the wrestling in this film as plenty of people before me have talked about is incredible what was the key in getting that part of this process right chavo so my background, I I I was the wrestling coordinator on Netflix Glow Glow the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. I was also the the wrestling coordinator on NBC's Young Rock. So I got four seasons there. I got three seasons there. So I've done this a whole bunch of times. So for me to do this was I, I had done it. I already knew what I was doing. And you're always you just get better at your craft as you go along. Um, but to get that to get it correct, you know, there's there's a lot to it you're not only trying to imitate something, these real life people, the veteran nerds, you're not always playing real life actors or playing real life people on, on screen, but here they are. So we have to get down their, their mannerisms and their moves sometimes. So then you also have the actor's ability. What can they do? What can't they do? So just because, you know, Kevin Von Eric could shoot a beautiful dropkick didn't, didn't mean Zac Efron could. Thank God that we got him to that point where he could, you know, he can jump through the, through the ceiling and he was great. Um, so um, that's kind of the way it goes. And plus, you know, it's time periods as well. You have to know, okay, well, you know, if, if, the, if the writer's writing something like, well, I look to see a, you know, a, a, a flip over here. I'm like, well, they didn't really do that in 1982. So let's, they did some, you know, more of this kind of style. So really there's, there's a lot of, it's almost like Jenga. It's like you're playing all these, you're stacking different things and kind of like making things work and not work. And there's a lot of aspect. And then you got to see what the director wants, 
how the producers want it, how if we have any stunt doubles, how the DPs wants to shoot it. So there's there's, there's a whole lot more than just putting together a wrestling scene. The three main Von Erics are played by Zach Efron, Jeremy Allen White, and Harris Dickinson, of course. Who was the most natural amongst those three with, in turn, with regard to his wrestling skills? I get that question all the time. You know, they were all awesome, all different. It's like having a student when you're teaching, you know, a math teacher teaching students. Some students are going to be better at, you know, addition, some better at division, some better at fractions. Well, it's, it was the same in the ring. Some one was better at, you know, hitting the ropes. The other one was better at, you know, taking bumps. So you work with that and, you know, you kind of you use that in their choreography as well. So your question, Jeremy would have a different approach. He would almost sit and be he was more like a methodical thinker. He would sit there and visualize and then say, okay, I got it. Zach would like, he take more like that of the high school musical dance aspect to it he'd like to walk through it and walk through it and walk through it um harris was a little different i didn't get him in the ring as much but he was a gamer he was like don't worry child i'll, I'll be good I'll, I'll, i'm ready and he you know he did so he brought it so they're all a little bit different but all all great and every one of them surprised me every day on set you know and every day we filmed and i was i was the biggest cheerleader in the back going, yes you know <laughs> watching behind the camera with sean you also bore the responsibility of promising the Von Erich family that you would make sure to do the family name right. Was there something that you did or interjected with that ensured that that process went well too? You know, really, you know, our, our family history being a rest, coming from a wrestling family in Texas with another wrestling family, almost rivals of ours. Um, I told the family that I was, I will make this like I'm making it about my own family. I will put that attention to detail. And, and really it was, I didn't have to talk to them so much because I was so familiar with that, with the family. I knew them in and out of the ring on a personal basis. You know, I've been to the ranch in Hawaii way before this, uh, you know, so I really, I really knew them and was a fan of the Von Eric brothers. How could you not be? They were, they were incredible wrestlers. So I really was familiar with them. I did brush up a little bit and go back to some YouTube stuff and kind of pick some things that I could really do and seeing how Kerry would do his tornado punch or how they would do the clock. Cause they would always, they all do it a little bit different, you know? So I would, you know, kind of get the, the actors to, to um, imitate or emulate the, the, the wrestlers, but in their own way too, you have to take what an actor can do as well. So I you know, really made you know to like I tried to make it like I was making my own family and do that that family proud and what do you like most about the iron claw which opens in theaters here in just a couple of days I just love the story man I love well of course I love the wrestling but I I yeah I love the directing I love how Sean made it it's not it's a tr very tragic story and it's not just super tragic he really put the, how that family was together and how that family bond really meant so much to everybody. I love that part. Yeah. And I think he did a good job of showing the, the really good intimate times to go along with uh, all the unfortunate events over the years too. Absolutely. So if you get the odd opportunity to direct someday, are you telling a wrestling story? Are you telling a story that is unrelated to the world of wrestling? I will tell, take whatever comes my way, but uh, I have uh I'll probably end up starting doing some wrestling stuff and that'll transition to other things. I have a couple of projects in the works that are hopefully will put me, uh, lead me on that path. <laughs> gotcha. He is Chavo Guerrero. Not only serves as the wrestling coordinator in the Iron Claw, also played the Sheik as well. Did a great job in that role. And he's talking about this excellent movie. It is uh, one of the best movies of 2023, even if it's coming out at the very end of the year. Chavo, thank you so much for the time today and congratulations on this film. Hey, I really appreciate you, man. Thanks for, for doing it, and I uh, hope you like the film, and good luck to you, brother.